So Rebecca and I, we just finished a cycle of 12 sessions of somatic coaching together. <laughs> and we just wrapped up our final session. And yeah, I felt like um, recording a short video and having an exchange about it so people get a better idea of what it is, if it might be useful for them and yeah, so how are you feeling right now, Rebecca? <laughs> I am feeling very blissful. I feel like all emotions are valid, all ways of being are valid, and uh, all of them are inside me, and that's a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. Do you want to share what we just did? Uh, we did a bad bitch dance. <laughs> <laughs> So hopefully embodying a lot of love for myself and all the parts of me um, and how they show up in my life and, and also to celebrate our sessions, our past 12 sessions and what I've been moving through emotionally and therefore physically with the somatic practice um, and celebrating that and where I've been and where I've come and how I am now yes celebrating you <laughs> yeah. yeah I love to wrap it up with a good portion of play and just being goofy and also connecting with strength to this just like energetic practice and I would like to do a little grounding practice for us too and also if you're watching you're very welcome to tune in before we continue so if it feels comfortable for you you can close your eyes and place your hands on your stomach allowing your stomach to become soft your shoulders to become soft Your jaw, taking a moment to notice the movements of breath without influencing it. Sensing the weight of your body. With every exhalation, allowing yourself to relax even a bit more. Mm. Okay. And slowly, you can open your eyes again. Oh yeah, that's what we what we do a lot <laughs> in the coaching together establishing this relationship with our own bodies, slowing down. Um, would you like to share why you started the somatic coaching, why you came to me and how you felt back then? Yeah, sure. So for myself, I've, I've experienced a lot of grief in the past few years. And in winter time, I especially found this very present in my body. I was feeling a lot of tightness in my chest and almost like a um, panic attack from, from having to travel and pack up my bags. And uh, I felt this very present in my body and the way that I carried myself in the, just where the emotion felt like it was trapped. Uh, so that started making me think of um, ways that I could move this and ways that I could process this grief and wait in perhaps a different modality than I tried before. Um, and I, I've been following Janina for a while because we share a love of nature and, and similar backgrounds as well with artistic practices of graphic design as well. And so it made me think of, of the somatic coaching and perhaps that's a way to move this tension that I felt within my body, the way that grief had trapped itself in a way within within me 
uh, and how it would come about in unexpected moments or even sometimes in expected moments with, with knowing I had to travel or something. Um, so that's what attracted me to, to work with Janina. Like, uh, yeah, just experiment with this. Like dance has always been a great way for me to process emotions. And so I felt let's try somatic coaching and work in a different way than just talking. Yeah. And I remember we started with like all the foundational practices and started really slow and tender. And yeah, I just shared with you in our last session that it was so touching to see the evolution of like when you came, like how close your body also were and like how, how like insecure the movements were and protective. And we really took a lot of time to establish the safety and you shared yeah lots of practices of like self-regulation and self-soothing in the beginning and yeah what a transformation in the end <laughs> to you what are you taking with you especially out of this like has something shifted in your inner world and also looking at the somatic practices like what do you think were you or are you integrating into your life, taking with you? That's, that's a lot to answer. <laughs> um, I don't even, I can try and think where to start. Um, like on a more daily or weekly basis to try and move out of always being in my head and, and checking with my body. And if something is coming up, to move through it, to build more of a practice into my regular life that uh, I can move with with music or I can take a moment even if I'm at work and go into the bathroom and have a few moments to feel where that tension is in my body and how would it feel good to move through that and release that emotion um taking through with this like uh, being in this process has allowed me to open up more and open up my heart space and feel like it's okay to be vulnerable it's okay to be the fool sometimes and be stupid and crazy and, <laughs> and to do so without judgment or worry that uh yeah that someone is looking upon me while being stupid silly um and that all emotions is valid so I, I look forward to opening up that heart space more and more because I feel like it's not as scary as it once was yeah and I feel something that came through is also like how nature connection is a resource for you to mm -hmm. yeah to cultivate more joy and also regulation and just find pleasure in everyday life definitely definitely mm -hmm. for me it's like it's my way of living and being and when friends did come over to mine recently no what's your like how do you know like when the trees are gonna bloom and why do you how do you know all of this and what you can eat and when and how and like I look this is when I walk down a pathway I look at the trees I look at the plants that come up and that's my way of living in this world like being in connection with it ah. okay Thank you so much for sharing this little insight with me. Thank you. <laughs> um, I feel a bit like a proud mama on graduation day. <laughs> 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 yeah, thank you so much for this rich time we shared together. I also learned so much about myself and like how I want to hold space. So it's been really precious. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. <laughs>